This is mainly uh, geared towards the private teachers that are in the audience. Uh, what is the most important thing music educators and private teachers can do to properly prepare students for the admissions process? I'm going to speak from the, the vocal side right now because we have so many string experts up here and instrumental experts. I will tell you that we have a number of, of students that come in to sing for us and we love hearing you sing. And you come in and, and, and you sing for us these beautiful arias that were written for very mature voices. Mm -hmm. And we hear, the, we hear the aria sung and, and the pitches and rhythms are, are sort of okay, they're sort of correct. Um, but that doesn't cut it for us. And, and what's most important, when you walk in the door to an audition, at least at Cal State Fullerton, before you sing for us, we give you a theory exam so that we can see uh, that you know how to read music. Uh, and it's a basic theory exam. And the other part of our audition, after you sing beautifully for us in two languages, uh, which I know you will, uh, then, then we have you sight read for us. Uh, this is a necessary skill. So I urge, I urge all of you in voice studies right now, not just to, to do the fun, although I, I'm a dork, I think that music theory is really fun, and sight reading is really fun, but I don't know. I, but I, I will tell you, I will tell you, it's critical to your success as an artist. All of my friends that are successful, famous opera singers can read anything, because composers nowadays are expecting that. They're expecting advanced musicianship out of singers. Uh, so I encourage you to really, really work on your musicianship. And teachers, I encourage you to think about the kinds of repertoire you program for the students. Make sure that they're age appropriate and that they show off your voice in a way that, that uh, is always in a positive, accurate light. And of course, expressive. And I'm sure there are other comments from the instrumental side as well. Um, I think one of the things teachers can do is um, facilitate connecting your students with other teachers. So if I'm a high school senior and I play cello, and I know I want to go major in music at a school, but I'm 17, 18 years old, I don't know who the good teachers are. Or if I, my teacher knows or a friend told me that you, know, you really want to stay with this good teacher, Ron Leonard, at the Colburn School, well, how do I do that? I'm 17, what am I supposed to do? So if the teacher can help broker that, um, whether they, if they know a teacher, contact that teacher and say, I have a student who might like to take a lesson with you, or even just talking to the student, or even spending time with the student, maybe even doing some, some uh, searches together. The student says, oh, I want to go to Cleveland Institute, where the two of you can sit down at the computer and search there to see who are the cello teachers at the Cleveland Institute. And as a teacher, you can have some idea reading that biography if this is someone who might be a good match for the student you have, even if you don't know that person. Because a lot of times I get questions from students saying, well, how am I supposed to find a teacher? And that is such a critical choice, especially if you're a performance major. You need to find a teacher who works for you. Not the best known teacher on that instrument, but the teacher who can teach you. And so you need to have some sort of resource, and that's, uh, I think, a very important role that a current teacher can play. You know your student's leaving anyway. There's no reason to hang on to them. There's all the more motivation to send them out in the world with a really good, solid connection to someone. So I think that's a really big help if you're a teacher. Thanks. Um, I, I just have one comment, if, if you don't mind. I, I directed a Foothill Youth Summer Theater for years, uh, and we would audition kids every summer. They would come in and sing for us. And I, in, early on in, 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 in doing these auditions, I had one girl I remember who auditioned for us, and it was just terrible. And I immediately dismissed her, and the choral director sitting next to me says, no, she's got a lovely voice. Uh, give me a moment. She went outside, they talked about another piece, and she came back in and sang a, another selection that was really fitted for her voice. And she was great. The, uh, the choosing the right piece of music, whether you're an instrumentalist or a vocalist, uh, for your audition is so important. Uh, you figure out what makes you stand out. So that, that's my comment. Um, 